Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Valerie Mills. Thanks for logging on to my Fox hurricane. We are busy this morning as we are tracking what has been a historic hurricane and just made landfall after the 11 o'clock hour on the island of Grenada. You can see that very organized eye wall as it approaches parts of the southeastern Caribbean islands. We saw an eye wall replacement early this morning that storm briefly downgraded to a category three before it reached back up to category four strength. Unfortunately, just before May making landfall early Monday morning about 1110 is when we saw that landfall and so it is still going to continue to barrel down on the southeastern Caribbean islands through the rest of Monday some improvement later Monday night and into Tuesday but hurricane barrel already in the record books with what we've seen this is the strongest Atlantic hurricane to form in the month of June on a record and it is the earliest category four Atlantic hurricane that we have ever seen on record this storm really quickly intensified it was sitting in a pocket of very warm waters out in the tropical Atlantic. It intensified from a tropical storm to a major hurricane in just about 48 hours, and it made landfall on the island of Grenada with peak winds about 150 miles per hour. So that is a very high end category four storm, just about six miles per hour shy of being a category five hurricane. And to put it in perspective, these are very small islands, about 13 square kilometers. So that eye wall pretty much takes up the entire extent of the island as it moves into parts of the Central Caribbean expected to maintain very strong hurricane status three or four as it continues to approach parts of Jamaica, Cuba, Hispaniola should be on high alert for the middle and end of this week as the storm continues on its mainly due west track, but a little bit of that northwest increased motion here. But you can see as it approaches parts of the Yucatan Peninsula, expecting it to start to encounter some stronger wind shear. So we do expect this storm to start to weaken a bit by the end of this week, maybe Thursday into Friday, but really over the last couple of days, this storm has not had any stronger windshield to deal with. Even that drier Saharan air is made just to the north of this storm, so it really has had all of the fuel that it has needed to explode over the last couple of days and really is going to be catastrophic for those southeastern Caribbean islands with conditions improving Monday night into Tuesday. From there, where will the storm go? We still have areas around Jamaica on high alert, especially as it looks like the track will start to move into those areas for the middle of the week, but Strong high pressure looks like it should block the brunt of this storm. We'll continue to watch this for the end of the week as maybe parts of the Gulf Coast could be on alert. But at this point, it looks like the track is going to continue to stay farther to the south with no impacts to mainland USA. We'll have more updates right here on my Fox Hurricane.